just crazy how good morning everybody and welcome to my channel i have just woken up and it's a saturday morning and i had a little sleep in till 8 30. it sounds pretty early to some people but i wake up pretty early during the week so it felt pretty late to me um, and also I like waking up early in the mornings just to get my day going um, and just to enjoy as much as possible of the day um, and get all my errands done. So today I'm going to get ready on camera and do a quick makeup tutorial-ish, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the shops and I'm seeing my yaya later on today. So yeah, I'm going to get ready with you guys. Hey guys, so I'm sitting next to my window today just to switch up a little bit. So this is why my background is of my cupboard doors. So I'm just going to do my makeup. I've already washed my face, brushed my teeth and put all my Paula's Choice creams and serums on top. I'm also going to be putting this collagen eye mask just to awaken my eyes. These were in the fridge so they're going to brighten me up and awaken my eyes and depuff my eye area because I feel a bit puffy today. Get these open. There you go. Feeling a little bit ill today, so I'm just trying to give myself some self love, as should everyone else. Ooh, they're really slimy. With the camera pen. There you go. Don't look pretty, guys. And they're really nice and cold, so that is a bonus. Yeah. Just gonna massage a little bit. Get that blood going. can't be dealing with this crazy hair this morning right so whilst I leave that on my under eyes I'm just gonna do the rest of my skin I've been using Paula's Choice recently just to try and improve my skin um, and I've been putting my own products that I've been creating like turmeric and coconut oil or turmeric and some yogurt just for my discoloration around my skin from sunburns and Paula's Choice is really helping me with my acne also a really great diet <laughs> I've been having to cut down on a few yummy things especially dairy and meat um, I've just been eating meat in moderation not every week every other week maybe a few times a month so that I'm not breaking out as much and it's just good for the gut I think so I'm getting my Maybelline concealer and I'm just gonna conceal all my acne spots and discoloration this is running out a little bit but it's okay I'm gonna get some more I'm going to probably get some Bobbi Brown one because I used to use Bobbi Brown and I really liked it but then I decided to try this one since it was way cheaper. <laughs> um, do you know what? I really can't see in the camera lens so I'm going to use a mirror. This is way better. Oh, these eye masks are tingling. I hope I'm not allergic. Right. So I'm just... I've got a few acne spots I'm just gonna try and cover them a little bit to be honest I can go out of the house without makeup on I thought I would feel good make myself feel good a little bit since we're still in quarantine I never get acne spots up here 
so I'm a little confused what's going on. But maybe it's because of. Do you know what? Maybe it's because I put oil in my hair. Maybe that's why. Uh -huh. I swear this is sliding. Go back up. Go back up. Oh my god. Right. Ella, stay there. Okay. I'm just like blending it out with my finger. I'm not that bothered. Make sure that you really cream your face so that, or even put some oil on your face so that it's like nice and dewy. So when you do put makeup on, it doesn't dry out basically. Um, I put two creams on usually, um, I put just a normal cream and then a sun sunscreen, even though it's cloudy today, the sun can still get you, okay, so I'm going to put the tiniest bit of foundation on, just the tiniest, I'm using the Bourjois foundation in, I don't even know how, the number 27. They always put the numbers really faint so you can never see it. But anyway, so I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown brush. And I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand. And blend it out. Sorry, that was my radiator. If you heard that. Oh. Okay. Seems like I want to part of this video. So I've got a bit of discoloration here, so I like to, because I have been burnt on my nose a few times when I was a kid. So, ooh, it just went up my nose and I need some, no I don't. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to take these off because I want to put like foundation and concealer underneath my eyes. And they're starting to dry out a little bit, so. I'm a new woman. They've definitely de-puffed my eyes. I feel much brighter. So I'm going to be putting a little bit, like, do you see how tiny that is? I'm just going to put a little bit around here. sure what makeup to do today. Should I go really simple or really crazy? What should I do? What do I feel like doing? My neck is so light compared to my face. It's so annoying. I don't really put much on my forehead just because like I don't know got wrinkles come in in the future I want to touch the forehead the least keep it you know so okay I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline concealer a different one it's like an eraser I'm just gonna put it in some I'm just gonna put some but this definitely has some in because I don't use this one as much Just to brighten my eyes a little bit. And I've got like blue in the corner of my eye when I'm tired. Which I'm not, but I was an architect student back in the day. So these eyes have been through a lot, I tell you that. <laughs> so many all-nighters, six, seven years. I am so happy those days are gone. Well, no, we had so much fun in the library. I tell you that we used to like, the boys used to play hide and seek or like it or something. I forgot what they used to play, but they used to play something. Um, 
and we used to like we used to sneak in pizza into the library when you weren't even allowed any pizza those are the days and and we used to do some yoga yeah like headstands and shit like that not that I can do it a headstand but I try not that it's allowed either in the library but we were little rebels back in the day architect students own the library I'll tell you that okay I think that is pretty much it I must have forget those ears and I've got so much hair I can't even blend it into my hair I my hair's growing nicely. I'm so excited for the summer because my hair's gonna be like from here to here. It's gonna be great. Right. And I'm going to Greece this summer. Hopefully, get my vaccination, please, Boris, please. Um, hopefully. And there's gonna be really amazing content this summer. I tell you that. I'm so excited. We're going to Greece with my family and my friends. So. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, I'm getting too excited now. Well, who cares? I'm manifesting that. I'm, I'm speaking it to existence. I'm going to Greece. I'm going. I'm. Ha I have my vaccination. Okay, I'm having super duper fun. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting. I've never tried this lipstick before. Usually I put red lipstick on my cheeks, but I'm gonna try this pink one you how it looks so I'm just gonna I'm a rosy cheek kind of girl so mm -hmm -hmm. I told you I can't do this I need a mirror can you see that a little bit of rosiness, just to be sharp on the cameras, much as, oh well, you don't want a blob anyways, you want it nice and smoothed out all the way to here, sometimes I like putting it on my nose, just to give it that sun-kissed glue, mm -hmm. like if you don't know how to do it, you just smile and you put it on the apples of your cheek, cheeks, <laughs> I got two and that one yeah because I feel like the red one because I've got acne around here I would put foundation on and then I'd put red on top and then you could see the acne a bit more because you know it was just I think to it I need like an orangey kind of lipsticky kind of blush because orange cancels out I remember I went to Bobby Brown once and they did my makeup and she did it so beautifully. I think it was in like Bournemouth or something. And she, oh, my skin was so good and she put like a really nice orangey kind of blush. <sighs> Bobby Brown. Yes. I love that shit. Love it. Speaking of Bobby Brown, I'm going to use this Bobby Brown blush. Um, in 25. It's pretty pink, so we'll see what's going to happen. But I just want to, like, I just want to see what happens. Because I am trying new things. Okay. Don't really. Need more. Ah, it's a build up one. I like. I have so much makeup that I don't use because my sister's given it to me when I was a kid or I just buy it and then I never use it. <laughs> but now I can. So 
Because as I said, I don't really wear much makeup. Only on special occasions. Which is usually in Greece. When it's really hot. So why would you wear makeup? <laughs> Just kidding. I have a wedding coming up next year. So that is if COVID doesn't switch on us. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, you can hear my cats outside. They're having a ball in the garden. Right. They were so good this morning. Like, usually, it's actually really funny. Like, usually when I'm working and I'm sleeping till about 7.38, they will legit go to my door, start scratching the door, be like, meow. Like, mummy, wake up at like 6 a.m. I'm just like, really, give me another hour, please. Just give me another hour. But in the weekends, I don't know what it is, they just know that it's a weekend and that mummy, like, isn't going to work. So they don't, they don't pass to me. It's just annoying. But I love them. So right, I'm going to put my Bobby Brown, I know it's broken, I'm just showing you. Bobby Brown. As you can see, I've used it a lot. My Bobby Brown, um bronzer can't speak today i'm just gonna bronze the fist the forehead even though i've got quite a small forehead just put a little bit on and use whatever i use a big brush just because i don't need it to be perfect i just want it to be like a little defined and then because my neck is super white we're gonna go down there as well and define the jawline if you're wearing a low cut top just hey girl bring it down there too bronzier the better oh, my hair. hey And then just blend, 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 always. Can't say it. Blending, blending, blending. Okay, I feel like putting some black eyeliner on. So I'm going to use my Ico eyeliner. And I'm going to speed this process up because you don't need to see me struggling. Okay. So. Oh, cut her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, one eye is done. Now we know to make it as much symmetrical as possible. But they're not going to be twins, so hey ho. And of course I'm going to start crying. Uh. Ugh, bring in the flood works. Thank you. And good night. Right. Okay, clearly they're not going to be twins. But I don't really care. Um, I feel like being a little bit dramatic today. And just putting a bit on the corner of my eye. Like a little bit of a cat eye. In the middle. Just like kind of following the eye shape down I'm just kind of like let me come in a little bit closer it's very Jeanne Aiko kind of eye look but I don't really care I love her so much so let's do it I don't wear eyelash extensions or whatever I am gonna curl my eyelashes and put a few coats of mascara on my eyelashes so let's go
Okay, I'm going to use my Maybelline mascara. No, this is not sponsored. I keep using Maybelline. I also have an Ico mascara, but it's run out. So I would have used that one actually. But this one is also good. So I'm just gonna. I just like to put it on the tips at the end of my eye, not all around, just to like open up my eyes. So. We're going to be taking my Benefit brow brush and just brushing through my, eye um, my eyebrows. Just to give it a very natural eyebrow look without drawing on there. I'm going to try out this Revolution liquid highlighter I don't know how this is going to look so we're just going to go with it wherever my friend got me this in a set for my birthday so I'm just going to put it there put it on my bridge of my nose of my nose and we're just going to just use this and blend it out It's alright. It will do. I'm just going to be taking my Phase Zero blush. It's a little bit more orangey, which I like, as I said before. So I'm just going to put it over the blush I had before. I'm going to be taking my rose ink, my favourite, I keep it in this box, um, lipstick. I love it because it's sustainable and you can literally keep the stick and you can also put your name on it. So I put my initials on VP with a little heart and it's magnetic so and you can literally take this out everything's magnetic and you can put I also have the red version of this one this one is kind of like a pinky beige color so I'm gonna put that back in like so and I'm gonna be my radiator again and now I'm gonna put it on my lips and I love this because it really does last and it just feels nice and moisturising. And I believe this is sold out. So, ugh, can't do much. But I love it so much. And, oh, I can't hear again. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I love Rosie Huntington Whiteley. She is an inspiration. I literally follow her on everything. YouTube, Instagram. I just love her so much. And her skincare, I just love. So, yeah. Rosie, if you're watching... I love Anyway, so we're going to put this on my lips. You can also put a liner, but I don't really care right now. I'm just going to put it on really chilledly, really. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just dab on. Like this. Okay, I'm just gonna take my hair out. It's a bit crazy today. But whatever.
Okay guys, so I'm ready to go. I am wearing my hair up in a little clip. I'm wearing this white, simple, strappy top that actually used to be my grandma's, <laughs> um, but it didn't fit her anymore, so she gave it to me. I'm wearing dungarees, my favorite dungarees from Shoreditch in London and the strap basically can't hook because the um the little button is gone so i'm going to my grandma's today actually and she can put a button on and it's gonna look very vintage with like two different buttons so yeah i'm just having one on there i also have a button missing here which is why i have a safety pin on i'm wearing my dad's old jeaned shirt as you can see it's humongous on me um i think this used to be his when he was like in his 20s he doesn't wear jeans anymore so he wears more formal clothes um because he's a little bit older and he likes to look smart like papu back in the day so yeah this is why it's really big on me i just roll it up i just like that look that painter look kind of feel so yeah and then I'm just wearing like some really simple white trainers from Zara just to finish the look up and my eyes are like super crazy like can you see like very cat eye I'm also wearing these really lovely earrings I got from Greece I don't know the name of the shop because it's a very singular kind of unique shop in Greece um, I don't think they're online but they have beautiful earrings and I always buy from them whenever I go there and I'm wearing also oh got makeup on my hand um, I'm also wearing my ooh, is it gonna show there you go my ring from Hong Kong it's very special got my ring from Spain from I think Alicante when I went with my best mate Anna and her boyfriend Niels so there you go and then I'm also wearing on the other hand my ring from Oman and my ring that Anna gave me for my birthday a long time ago from England I think it is and I forgot what quartz stone these are but I'll link them down below when I remember but yeah this is basically the outfit today I am gonna go to the shops now and get some fruit for my yaya and some food for myself maybe i'll pop to the bakery and get some bread and some snacks to eat whilst i walk to my yaya's house um and maybe i might bump into some people because we're a small neighborhood and sometimes i bump into people okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please Give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below. Yes. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I will link the links down below. Um, but anyways, I'm ready to go now. Yeah, enjoy this lovely freedom of going outside and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a lovely week.